So I'm Yuri Zabrovarny and I would like to show you how to set up OX platform. So all information you can find on this wiki page and it describes uh, step by step how to do that. And uh, yeah, the most important part is to configure, to configure uh, that setup. And because it's uh, specific to your environment, it must be done by you correctly. So for example, the uh, home directory of your uh, OpenDJ installation or Tomcat installation and so on, or platform or, or whatever. So, and here is, uh, I'm going to show how it works. So just quick demo. Uh, yeah, here I have um, configuration, which is configured against uh, my uh, local environment. And I'm going to use as base DN uh, these uh, Overkill's glue uh, base DN. So uh, just quick look into OpenJ. So as you can see, there is no such base DN. So here is one, but yeah, uh, there is no Overkill's glue. So setup needs to configure OpenDJ correctly, build OXAUS and uh, deploy it to Tomcat. So let's uh, start it and uh, have a quick look. So it. Uh, generates uh, LDF data, then it stops OpenDS uh, if it's running, then it copies uh, schema files and uh, start uh, OpenDS uh, again to load that uh, new schema files. So uh, after that it configures uh, OpenDS with uh, different configurations uh, and import uh, all uh, LDAP data into OpenDS. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, OpenDS detected that uh, there was restart and forced me to relog in. So let's log in and check what the data are inside. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, the uh, building process is performed and after finish, it should start Tomcat. So uh, in parallel, let's look that you can see that uh, yeah, that a new uh, base DN is added and there is pre-created structure uh, for, for it. So uh, all these data is required to correctly start uh, OX House and OX Trust. So yeah, it seems everything is in place. Uh, on first start uh, of OX House, there is a, a exception is because uh, configuration of OX House at first start is not yet in LDAP and on first start, uh, uh, it detects it and says that it enabled to load it from LDAP and uh, because it's not there, it uh, loads it from a file and uh, push it to LDAP. So the next line, uh, line, as you can see, that configuration entry is created in LDAP and configuration loaded successfully. So uh, everything should work. That exception is shown only uh, first time, so the next time you will start, of course, LDAP um, configuration is already uh, in LDAP and uh, it will not appear again. So let's check uh, whether it really works. Let's uh, hit the uh, URL, which should show uh, to us OpenID Connect discover your response. So yeah, let's hit it. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it works, so response is returned. So cool, yeah, that's it. Thank you.